the most important thing is, in especially in the era of disruptive technology, um, is to be able to be relevant to the industries. And this is where it's very important that we have the collaboration with our industrial partners because they are the ones who will also be able to tell us how to remain relevant. Having this uh, project together, uh, we can uh, contribute to the development of a sustainable uh, palm oil uh, farming systems, which is so important uh, to ensure sustainability of our environment and agriculture production. We have enjoyed uh, 15 years of experience working with uh, USM. And when we thought of uh, having uh, this kind of project with uh, some university in Malaysia, uh, USM came to my mind, naturally. LEDs produced at the School of Physics and INOR are of the same performance as those produced at the best universities in the world. And that's a fantastic situation, right? So now, USM is at the level equivalent to the best universities in the world and we have to build on that. So we have to continue pushing new ideas, new designs and step up even higher in terms of the performance we can achieve. Um, so the, the project kind of uh, you know, uh, struck us as uh, you know, a real, uh, solving real life problem. And not just that, I think the solutions was very, you know, uh, well put together, uh, thought through, uh, with element of engineering, with element of, uh, you know, of, of controls and machine learning. I think the, the, the game, you know, gamification, especially to, to en enhance the so-called motivation, to motivate the innovation. These are, you know, one of those areas that press is looking at in terms of how do you innovate to solve real problems. I guess it's always like, you know, when, when you try to grow a plant, you have to start with a good seed. So, you know, I think you have a, you know, a place for, you know, I think a good seed in, in USM, and what we are doing is providing the so-called uh, the incentive uh, to actually to uh, you know make the seed you know uh, grow you know uh, better in a proper way and to to, to uh, bloom to uh, you know to its best potential. And that's that's how we see it. Because over the years we have you know we deepened the relationship a lot. But I would say if they have not that passion, I don't think so. It will last so long. But the, they are also very passionate about developing uh, students, about developing pharmaceutical products. And so therefore, we are also keen, and therefore that meeting of the mind is very important. There are many, actually today, many, many pharmacy schools uh, in Malaysia now, but they are not so easy to find the meetings of minds, because sometimes we, we find a, a person who is interested in research, but his area of expertise may not be of our interest to us. So to find both parties having the same interest in the same area and able to work together is sometimes not easy, but uh, we are glad that in USM we found this and you know, since I, I'm a student now, we're still working. So it's, a, it's like an incredible long. <laughs> uh, we see Agilent and USM as uh, partners in bringing uh, what we call better technologies and solutions to the community. I very, uh, what we call, uh, appreciate the opportunity to work with the scientists and researchers in a partnership to providing societal benefits as well as opportunity for us to create better uh, technology and solutions. So I can see that there's a lot of interest and a lot of passion uh, to make this technology available, uh, especially to bring the, what we call the benefit of uh, better separation uh, to the scientific community. Uh, in development of herbal drugs, it involves a lot of experts, not just one particular area, but in long, long the value chain it requires expertise in agriculture, expertise in uh, chemical engineering, expertise in pharmaceutical and medicinal, so which is USM has everything under one roof. USM as 
institution plays a very important role to come up with a new findings and research and development on herbal drugs. That is where my aspiration as industry, we would like to work closely with the uh, public institution, for example, at USM, because we have made first from Kachit Fatima and we believe that together we can make more first on other herbs as well. So we really hope the current existing programs that are being uh, collaborated uh, between Karaju and USM uh, will require a further commitment and participation uh, from USM that you can then uh, work on those areas that we have highlighted in order to achieve a better result, a better impact and the outcome that will benefit ultimately the community of Vinkacha and Sabah and Sarawak. Collaboration between MPIB and USM is very important. With the expertise and resources available at University of Science Malaysia, we can work together with the smart partnership. We confident that it will enhance the existing curriculum system at the university level towards the IR focus. And we hope that we can produce more professional engineers and technologies for the industry. I think they are technically good, you know, uh, with a very good uh, academic results. But not only that, I think uh, uh, we found that uh, generally uh, USM graduates that we hire are very hardworking, they are dedicated, you know, they have a strong growth mindset, they are willing to learn and they are willing to take up uh, challenges. And many of the USM graduates are very hands-on, they are good in technical. I know they like to participate in many uh, competitions, either in the national or international level. So that makes them uh, well uh, fitted into the industry almost immediately after the graduate. We always um, strive to improve, and uh, in the area of quality, is definitely something which is very important for us. We want to improve our services to our customers. And in order for us to improve, we need to ensure that we maximize and optimize the usage of our resources. But uh, what we want to know is where should we put our resources? Therefore, we need a mechanism whereby we can crunch all that data that we have within our facility and try to prioritize for us the effort that we need to put into our improvement activities. So that is why uh, we embarked on this collaboration with the uh, university. Big Data Analytics is one of the key components of Industrial 4.0. We use this to process information. It will take hours and hours, weeks and weeks of engineering time to process this information. Whereas this can be done over seconds or maybe minutes using the software that's been developed and the process that we have in place. So it means that we can make decisions, better quality decisions and also faster. the willingness and commitments in safeguarding all these important findings, artifacts and objects, not just for the project's sake, you know, it's for the next generations, it's for the sake of everyone living in Penang, in Malaysia and globally to understand what happened in the past and safeguard it for all community. We look forward for more collaboration opportunities uh, with University Science Malaysia in terms of research um, in the classroom and on, also on the sites. I think together we can make this world heritage site one of the best in the world. 
Since 2015, uh, USM already have a good relationship with the state of Penang. Uh, we start with the excavation, the real archaeological research in Gwar Papah, Penang. Then we found the Penang woman 5,000 years ago in the Shan Midden uh, of Penang. That the earliest evidence of humans in Penang. Then uh, the relationship continue where, where state of Penang as us involved in the uh, conservation and preservation project. So it's very clear right now, besides the archaeological research, we also do a lot of uh, conservation and preservation projects. And in the future, we also have a conservation in the museum, state museum. And the state museum is now, right now, is really working with the package of magnet uh, to develop worker power. It's one of the aqu main aquatourism product in the mainland. The Habitat Penang Hill was established to promote ecotourism and environmental education here in Penang. The Habitat Foundation is even more interested in rainforest research and training and for that part of our work, our partnership with USM is a key component as one of our partner institutions here in Malaysia. Uh, the Habitat and USM are natural partners. Uh, USM is such a highly regarded institution here in Penang and we have been nothing but impressed by the wealth of expertise and professionalism among its staff. This year, we are very excited to announce that at least two uh, USM researchers will be receiving Habitat research grants to expand our understanding of the tropical rainforest. And everything we do here actually is not only to uh, study an ecosystem, but also to communicate and educate it to people outside, especially as I've mentioned to um, the urban people in Penang who are not aware how important an ecosystem like our ancient rainforest actually is. So with USM together and the Habitat, we are planning for more future activities, to do more research on the hill, to study more about unique species, but also about um, different ecology um, matters and gradients from the hill all the way down to the seas actually. And so we would like to facilitate different projects and this can be really anything from the canopies, from trees, from plants, all the way to um, big animals like the primates that I study. And it can be very unique and up to the researchers themselves. So as you can hear now, yeah, uh, the chirping birds in the background and, and the whole calmness of the garden. Uh, that's how we introduce a concept, open concept garden, green and library reading space together. Uh, this project is fully funded by the Penang State Government and as we see today, it's most of the time crowded. So, you know, we as a designer and architect of the building, we are very happy that simple, good architecture you know, we goes a long way to influence how community work, and uh, we like that this library that we have created is bridging the gap. Means, uh, you know, youth from all background are coming here to study, to interact, and and we like that. You know, it all started with a simple solution of good architecture. Wow! Here I am at the Penang Digital Library. A library in the park. This place has been transformed and it is amazing. I want to congratulate Miss Tan, the architect, Bharati, the state government representative for transforming an old uh, bungalow into Penang Digital Library 2. Uh, we have Penang Digital Library 1 over there and this is definitely a milestone project for the Penang State. So um, let's continue to, to have that collaboration you know, with USM, uh, CRES and, and the industry uh, to really solve the problem that matters. You know. It's a dynamic world. All the other universities in the world are still moving. And it's very important that all the academics make sure that their areas of research and their focus is aligned with what's going on on the planet and what's important in Malaysia. So, keep moving. Tomorrow is a matter of sharing of information. Tomorrow is a matter of collaboration. And this is of utmost importance as the university now starts to evolve into the 21st century and begin to see the kind of challenges that is now facing us in the future.